Get crack in the morning. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Wednesday. It's June the 2nd. Sonia Morgan breathed new life into the Real Housewives of New York City, but unfortunately, she's breathing way too high on the breath alcohol test, too. She blew through a a stop sign in uh, Southampton Village early Monday morning, I guess, celebrating the Memorial Day holiday a little early and unfortunately was arrested for DUI. John Mayer has canceled several shows in Europe because of some illness. He's not saying exactly what it is, but he is flying back to the United States and says he should fully recover under a doctor's care. Now, he had two sold-out shows um, earlier this week in Copenhagen. He performed the first one and then canceled the second and then proceeded to cancel shows in Amsterdam, Madrid, and Manchester. And it looks like he's not going to reschedule those, at least not for the foreseeable future, because ticket holders are being told to go back to where they bought those tickets and get their money back. He does start the U.S. leg of his tour June 16th, excuse me, July 16th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Talk about really bad timing or perfect timing if you're a diabolical drug addict. Lindsay Lowen had to have her wisdom teeth removed, and of course, she'd need pain medication to get through all the suffering and, you know, to keep her sedated through that process. So, last week, the judge ordered her to wear a scram ankle monitor and also said she had to submit to random drug testing. Well, of course, she's going to have these drugs in her system, so her lawyer is going to the probation officer and is going to provide the legal prescription saying Lindsay has to be on this medication in order to get through the suffering. Would a drug addict go so far as to have their wisdom teeth taken out just so they could do the hard stuff? I don't know. Charlie Sheen's going to plead guilty to a misdemeanor offense and spend 30 days in jail for the Christmas Eve attack against his wife when he pretty much held a knife to her throat and threatened to kill her. At least that's her side of the story. Now he's going to report to court in Aspen, which is where this offense took place back over Christmas, and he will immediately start serving those 30 days. CBS is being gracious enough to hold off taping two and a half men until Charlie's done his stint in jail. And of course, Charlie, you know, he has a big addiction of his own to cigarettes. I guess that's how he got off his other addictions, and he made a special request trying to get the judge in the the jail to let him smoke while he's incarcerated, and they said no. And finally, MediaTakeout.com. Love that website. It's a hilarious way to spend some time at the office when the boss isn't looking. Well, they did get it right, saying that Khloe Kardashian is pregnant. She is two months along. And now they're saying that Drake got his girlfriend pregnant. She's an exotic dancer slash model who goes by the name of Malia Michelle. And how did Media Checkout come to this conclusion? Well, they said that Malia was down in Jamaica doing a photo shoot, and she told everybody on the set, don't you be smoking weed around me and don't be offering me alcohol. And one of her friends said, well, duh, Malia does nothing but smoke pot all the time. So if she's telling people not to give it to her, she must be pregnant. And that's your Showbiz Top 5 for Wednesday. Hit Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5.